evening was um, called CDR Knowledge Beat Innovisions. It was basically a partnership between ourselves, Burnt Progress, and CW Pro, and basically working with Apple. And the idea behind tonight was to explore Logic Pro and producers from the CDR community who work with Logic Pro. You know what? Why don't you just take it away, man? Okay, this is an old tune, yeah? So don't even start with it. You know what? Let's, no, don't do that, man. It might be old to you. That's a very old tune. So first of all, I just want to say that before we actually get into deep, um, I want to say to every producer, every music maker, you have to actually back up your music. Yeah. No, seriously, seriously. Why, why is that? Why? No, I mean seriously, different drives, one at your mom's, one in your studio, because um, computers are not reliable and sometimes you can lose a lot of music and then you cry. The three producers, Boolean, Floating Points, and uh, Sinbad, are like three of my favorite favorite producers, really. And um, like those three tunes were probably three of my favorite tunes from 2008, hands down. I'm Martin Roberts from CW Pro Computer Warehouse. We're an Apple Solutions expert, which basically means um, solutions, so audio, video. So we cut out studios for people, video rigs, everything like that. Uh, tonight we were doing uh, the new version of Logic Studio, which, which includes Logic Pro 9, uh, which is a brand new version. And um, yeah, it got a really good reception, I think. It's, it's been a really good night, actually, sort of learning how, how other people make their tunes. And it's, it's certainly been an eye-opener, so. It's much easier talking about the uh, molecular genetics of pain than it is about music. <laughs> I think the, the, uh, the muse for this particular one was uh, Uncle Gavin that gave me a CD with some boogie tunes on it. Heard the original uh, reel to reel joint. I took the, the, from the bass drum from Love Me Like This. I mean, I'm quite into sort of Afrobeat stuff and I think that I was sort of going on this sort of Afrobeat house tip and the whole tune, I, 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 I'm not lying, I'm not sort of trying to show up, but I mean the whole thing did literally take less time than this whole talk supposed to last. So. Um, and one of the questions was, yeah, who would I like to see next? You know, because I was thinking, what would, what would, who would people like to see next? And who inspires people? Blind Lotus. Jay Diller, can I name two? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and um, Damon Albarn. Uh, producer, I would have to say Roy Ayers. A Lewis Taylor. That's a oh, tough one. That's a very tough one. Um, <laughs> I'd say, yeah, Quincy Jones, the Odato. Quincy Jones. Someone like, you know, Quincy Jones would be a wonderful person, you know, or Trevor Horn. I'd be intrigued to see Chapter Bullion a bit more, you know. I think I'd been to a CDR night a little while ago and I'd, I'd, I think Tony had heard some stuff. Tony from Burn Progress had heard some stuff. And yeah, he asked me to come tonight to talk about a track I've made. Take us through. Get familiar. Um, so yeah, I mean all the all the beat stuff is up here. It's just like two kicks at the top. So I think that that one's sort of a punchier one. Yeah. And then. Okay, kind of subby. Kind that's of got yeah. just like a sub sort of thing on cool. it. Yeah. Um, you like to then, keep the kind of the grit in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I guess. I mean everything's just like compressed beyond belief anyway. Yeah, for me this is what, what, like one of the first of the kind of sidechain compressor posse tunes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what sidechain is actually, I've never... But that's like, good, and that's why it's good to have these kind of conversations, because I think part of making music is just to do, right? 